Wait here. See that we're not disturbed. See there. Monsieur Latouche. I'm here to see the King of Beggars. Come with me. The intrigues of rats! Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him! Well, what's so important you had to pull me away from my daughters? <laughs> Much of the king's champagne. See there, come away. My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats. Pompous fool! If I could lay my hands on him, my master would be pleased to arrange that, brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It is done. Delacere is dead. Grandmaster. Good. Then rise, my brother. And be welcome. You don't trust the man, do you? Mirabeau is a good man. An honest man. Mirabeau is a self-aggrandizing drunk. Do not forget who is Grand Master here, Lafreniere. Take this to Grand Master de la Serre immediately. Deliver it to him in person. Yes, Master. Master, we have a problem. Christophe has been feeding information to our enemies. We must assume this location is compromised. We'll have to move up our timetable. Gather the men. We strike Clotel de Beauvais tonight. Thank you, my friend. Gotta get you back to that boy here in one piece. No we piss pot. Drop this. Well. I'll be damned. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Chin. Chin. I pause on pay. If you have orders to remove us from this hall, you must also get authority to use force. For we shall yield to nothing but bayonets! Ah, to administer is to govern. To govern is to reign. That is the essence of the problem. Mr. Mirabeau. Pathetic. Isn't it? Surely, France deserves better. What was that? I need to be Clumbeau. Roy, clean up your mess, it's tight. Told you I could make him talk. You've done well, Captain. Marie. The price of grain is higher than ever, Grandmaster. Our agents are in place to divert the shipments to our docks. They await only your command. Good. Starve them. Through famine and fury, they will see their false masters for what they are, but do it gradually. What you're asking will take at least a year, Grandmaster. If not two. Remember what I taught you, Marie. Oui, Maman. Francois Thomas Germain, for your crimes against the Templar Order, you are cast out. Let any man offering succor to the exile share his fate. Boom. The thing speaks to me. No, it's mine, De La Serre. De La Serre! Milady, you have a caller. I need your help, Marie. You were 
right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Plotting against the revolution out of one side of his mouth, while he promises to support the Constitution out the other. Good. I trust you can get this information into the proper hands, Monsieur Le Pelletier. Of course, Grandmaster. With this evidence in hand, the King's conviction is certain. The King must be seen as a criminal and a traitor. Only then, when he's executed like a common villain, do we show the world Jacques de Molay's great truth. You may show the world what truths you like, Grandmaster. What I do, I do for the good of France. You were right. King Louis's been talking to all sorts he shouldn't have. Citizen Le Pelletier, the vote stands at 360 for execution to 360 for clemency. How do you vote? Execution! The vote is cast and counted, Grandmaster. And? The King will die. I had no doubt. I shall very much look forward to witnessing the end of tyranny. I'll see to it you have the finest view. Fired? But why? Because, Monsieur Latouche, your last report contained numerous errors. Sir, I, I triple-checked those figures. They're not in error. 10,000 livres simply vanished from His Majesty's treasury. I'm sorry, Latouche. Good day. Monsieur Latouche, they tell me you were a tax man. Yes, sir. Good. I have need of someone like you. His parasite is plain and simple. What's that mean? It means greedy bastards skimming for themselves instead of doing their jobs. If you knew half the shit our boss is right here. Tell me about this boss of yours. Very well. May the Father of Understanding guide you. May the Father, Father of Understanding guide us. Um, what would you have me do, Glad Master? I'm placing your services at the disposal of our agent on the convention. The Peltier? Now, Peltier has his uses, but he's not our only friend in government. Monsieur Latouche, I present to you Monsieur Maximilien de Robespierre. Monsieur, I understand Versailles is overrun with parasites. Bravo. You've slain the villain. That is how you've cast this little morality play in your mind, isn't it? Oh, I'm not really here. I'm not really there either. At the moment, I'm bleeding out in the floor of the temple. But it seems the Father of Understanding has seen fit to give us this time to talk. Ah. A particular favorite of mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Those great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. And I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. To wash the world clean and restore to the truth the Father of Understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. 
The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. Think on this when you remember her.